Welcome to the short presentation on one way to effectively manage your time while at university. So to start off, you're going to need a blank schedule template. You can use the one from Studiosity, which will be used throughout this presentation. There are lots of different options online if you prefer that, or you can even create your own. You're also going to need a black pen or pencil and three colored pens or pencils. Step one, start filling out your schedule. Start with one day at a time and think about what each day looks like. Some days are likely to be busier than others. For example, Monday to Friday, you may be working from home, you may be taking your kids to school, the evenings where you have your lectures and your seminars. So just think about all the different tasks and activities you have to complete throughout the week. So here's an example of a student using the template from Studiosity to plan out their following week. And as I've mentioned before, they've included some of the things like working from home, their lunch breaks during their work day, and different activities with their kids and their studies. So now you've started filling out your schedule, think about which commitments need 100% of your time and your focus. You'll see in the following example that the student has marked these particular commitments in red. So they've marked their project plan for work and their online lecture as tasks which need all of their focus. So in another colour, mark the commitments you have where you may be able to do something study related but can't focus 100%. Like the student here, you may be able to do some reading for your lecture during a lunch break or while travelling to campus for a library study session. Now with your third and final colour, mark the times during the week you consider to be your spare time. So this is where you don't have anything in particular planned out and you can kind of pick and choose what it is that you'd like to do in that designated time. Do you have an hour or two in the evenings or perhaps more time on the weekend? And as I said, you can give, you, know, you can use these moments to give 100% of your focus to whatever you choose. So now that you've completed your schedule, what next? How much time have you found? Do you need to maybe reduce or increase the time spent on particular activities? It's really important to include things like life administration. So this could be writing a food shopping list or cleaning your home and also include things like relaxation time and exercise. Think about the activities you can do when you have some time but can't focus 100%. Which activities would you save for when you can be 100% focused? So for the final tips, tip one is to break up the big tasks. It can be really tempting to try and complete everything all at once. However, by breaking up a task into smaller, more manageable pieces, you'll find you're able to concentrate better. Tip two is to incorporate the use of a to-do list, and this can be done in addition to a weekly schedule. These are typically used for shorter or more immediate daily tasks. You could, for example, use this to remind yourself to contact your lecturer or to review the notes you made in last week's lecture. And the final tip is to take care of yourself, and this is a really important one. Of course, it's important to stay on top of your studies, but you also need to remember to take care of yourself too. Remember to take some time for exercise, relaxation and fun, as this will help to reduce stress and allow you to feel more energised when approaching your task. For further advice, please visit the study skills tile on Moodle for more resources on time management and essay writing tips. Please contact your lecturers and personal tutors for further advice or virtual meetings. For support with counselling, mental health advice or disability and dyslexia, contact the wellbeing services. And one important final note is to remember that if you would like to visit the library, it is open, but you will have to book a, your place in advance. And for guidance on how to do so and for more information on opening hours and how to borrow books, please visit the library website.